So one of the very interesting things about the new PIC 10S is that as such an extremely small microcontroller, we're now down in the realm of essentially uh, transistor scale packaging. And as you can see with a device this, this small, there are some new challenges that come along with uh, developing your different applications in a tools environment. Uh, obviously, the, there are also massive opportunities involved with where you can place the package within your application itself. So let's take a look into a little more detail of the actual pinout and what you would be using with our tools or should you decide to go ahead and spin a tool interface of your own. To start with, the uh, PIC-10F in the SOT23 device uh, comes in two different flavors. So you have the flavor of device, the 200 and 202s, which do not have the comparator interface, and the 204, 206s, which do have the comparator interfaces. Do keep in mind that the power and ground pins are actually in the middle of the package. So just be aware when you go ahead and lay out your board for that, that those are in the appropriate positions. Now alternately, um, there is an 8-pin dip version of this part that is offered. Now do keep in mind that this is not a standard 8-pin dip package that if you've worked with other microcontrollers from Microchip uh, that have that normal pinout. This pinout is slightly different and this was a, a, a facet of the fact that we were coming from a SOT23 world and we're not physically able to go ahead and place the device in the 8-pin dip package such that you could mechanically get the pins in the identical positions. So do keep this in mind, but this package is offered for those uh, developers that want to develop in a, a DIP8 platform and do their prototyping and initial, initial work with that style of package. Once again, it's ideal for prototyping if you want to go down that route. 